This assessment asks us to draw all possible resonance contributors for acetophenone. The first thing that catches my attention is the carbon-oxygen pi bond. That's a polar pi bond. We can break the pi bond of the polar pi bond and separate those charges uh, into an oxygen with a negative charge and a carbon with a positive charge. So one resonance contributor we can draw will have oxygen with a negative charge and carbon with a positive charge. This positive charge is now adjacent to a carbon-carbon pi bond, so we can draw a resonance contributor where we distribute the positive charge into the benzene ring. This positive charge can then continue throughout the benzene ring. And we have one more resonance contributor within the benzene ring. Finally, this pi bond, uh, this positive charge is next to the exocyclic pi bond, so we can draw one more resonance contributor where we bring the positive charge back outside of the ring. It would appear that this resonance contributor and this resonance contributor are the same, but they're actually not. The pi bonds around the benzene ring are in different places, so they are resonance contributors of each other. And we can actually bring this full circle. We can then recombine the positive and negative charge to reform the carbon-oxygen pi bond, uh, and these are the resonance contributors for acetophenone.